Let's spend some quality time with one of the film industry's most endearing young stars. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Tom Holland moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of our favorite Tom Holland moments from interviews, the red carpet, social media, and beyond. Please note, we won't be including moments from his films. Number 10. Interview Prank with Josh Peters featuring Connor Maynard and Casper Lee The fake-slash-intentionally-bad interview isn't exactly a new concept, having been perfected by the boys of Smosh over the years. I do an American accent when I play Spider-Man. How is that possible? When given the opportunity to interview Tom Holland in the lead-up to Avengers Infinity War, however, YouTuber Josh Peters did an admirable job executing it. Sips. Could I have a feel of your bicep? Um... <laughs> Sorry the turn, about that. Just then. I'm gonna have a sip of water and calm down yeah. a little bit. With Connor Maynard and Casper Lee in his ear directing him, Peters engages Tom in what must have surely been the oddest interview of Holland's career thus far. What's really impressive is that Tom manages to take it all in good stride, remaining lighthearted and good natured, even as Peters pushes into extremely bizarre territory. It was all in good fun, and everyone had a laugh, including nearly 3 million viewers. Number 9. MTV Spider-Man Audition Tape Audition tapes make for a fascinating look into the filmmaking process. Do, do I need to do that? I know, I know we're on different teams. I just don't want to be disrespectful to you. You can surrender. Wait! Whoa, that thing does not obey the laws of physics. A sample of Tom Holland's real Spider-Man audition is available online, and it's a pleasure to watch. But perhaps even better is the so-called secret Spider-Man Homecoming audition tape that Holland filmed with MTV after having already got the part. Peter, are you hiding something? Me? Please! In this hilarious segment from MTV After Hours, host Josh Horowitz asks Holland about the casting process, and Tom responds by giving us this ridiculous exclusive footage. It takes a truly great actor to be able to pretend to act this badly. We never get tired of seeing him dance, though. Peter, are you hiding something? N no. no. The musical closed a couple years ago. Number 8. Croissant and the Fallout Oh, Tom. We get that this French pastry is tough to pronounce, but of all the passable ways to say it, croissant is not one of them. Try it with us, croissant. But, uh, but I was so fed up one day, and I went to the crew catering and stole a croissant, and I ate the croissant, Poor Tom Holland made the mistake of trying to talk about these flaky bundles of joy during an interview while promoting In the Heart of the Sea. Soon enough, the clip had gone viral, and in very little time, Tom found himself having transformed into a walking, talking meme. Being a celebrity isn't always easy. <laughs> I love a good quaxin. Both in the original interview and whenever he's been asked about it since, he's just so genuine and good-natured that we can't help but love him all the more for it. I don't know how, how would you say a croissant? I would say croissant. How would you say croissant? croissant? A croissant, right? Number 7. Eating Snacks with Lad Bible Tom Holland is just so darn likable. We'll gladly watch him do everyday stuff, like eating. What is root beer? Thanks to Lad Bible, we can do just that. In this fun little video in which Tom Holland tries various snack foods from both America and his native Britain, in a segment called Snack Wars. His mission? to decide which country has better snacks by sampling various treats. Oh, I used to love toxic waste. Do you ever have so many toxic waste that you can't eat anything for about three days afterwards you've burnt your mouth off? We're shocked that he was unfamiliar with root beer, but we love that he's so into toxic waste candies that he asks to take them with him. Of course, interspersed amongst all this snacking are some fun personal questions. Altogether, it's just a lovely four minutes of quality with our favorite webhead. I always wonder, who was the first person that went, yeah, I'll just try that bit of moldy cheese? Who was the first person that thought that was all right? Number six, playing with puppies. Honestly, there's not that much we have to say about this glorious moment. We're quite tempted to just sit here quietly and watch the clip with you. Okay, never mind. We totally need to gush. Um, oh. We'd like to give a thanks to BuzzFeed for putting this puppy interview together, because seeing Tom Holland roll around on the floor with a bunch of pit bull puppies is almost too much to handle. Sorry, again, I forgot the question. I'm just too into these puppies right now. Can, I have an, can we have some more puppies in here? I think we should bring all the other puppies in. You can tell that Holland is just as happy being there as we are watching. He sometimes can't even focus on the questions being asked of him because he's so into the cuddle fest. Hilariously, he does reference eating a Twinkie from the Lad Bible video. And I actually got a lot of hate online for not enjoying a Twinkie. I was like, guys, that's a bit me. Number five, literally any time he almost reveals spoilers. 
Tom Holland is an incredible actor. He's an exceedingly talented dancer, and from his performance in interviews, it's clear that he's got a knack for public speaking. Who among you is least trustworthy when it comes to the secrets? Uh... Yeah, oh my they God! Know. Even the audience, even they know. I heard that. I heard that rumor too. Every superhero actor has their kryptonite, however, and Tom's weakness appears to be keeping a secret. And it was ev whenever Chris Pratt Beep. and Dave Bautista. He's absolutely rubbish with sensitive information. The notorious spoiler machine has nearly given away countless plot points. In some cases, he straight spilled the beans, like when he told Jimmy Kimmel about Spider-Man going to space. And I was reading what I thought was a fake script because it was like, Spider-Man's in space. So I didn't finish it, <laughs> but I, I found out it was real. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In fact, during the press tour for Avengers Infinity War, Benedict Cumberbatch seemingly had to become his de facto handler, helping Tom not spoil things. All in all, this weakness of his has made for some memorable moments. In Infinity War, are you a freelancer? I mean, do you go back to the Avengers? What do you um, do? That's a good question. Again. I'll answer it. Number four, his relationship with his dog. Tom Holland doesn't need a dog to be one of the most charming young stars in Hollywood, but it sure doesn't hurt. His dynamic with his beautiful Staffordshire Bull Terrier Tessa straight up makes us weak in the knees. He's got a habit of bringing this adorable pooch along with him to press events and interviews. Tessa, come oh. here. Oh. There we go. Now you're okay. There you go. She's like, nope. nope. She doesn't want to stay. When she joined him for press photos during his promotion of Spider-Man Homecoming, the internet understandably lost it. She is the sweetest, most angelic thing you'll ever meet. Pretty much any Tom and Tessa moment is a great one. Oh, and don't even get us started on the time he found a stray dog and brought it to the vet. What has the world done to deserve this gem of a human? Number 3. His first American talk show interview with Ellen Part of what makes Tom Holland so likable is his humility and down-to-earth attitude. 2017 marked his first appearance on a major US talk show, and he couldn't have done it in better company than with the legendary Ellen DeGeneres. And I was kind of planning to move out here to LA, but now I'm only just moving five minutes away from my mum. Right away, his politeness and sincerity shines through. He seems genuinely excited, and maybe even a little nervous to be there. He talks about his mom finding him his first apartment, which just so happens to be down the street from her. It's a reminder that he's still young, and that plenty of other first experiences await him. Just look how happy he is flopping onto that bed Ellen bought him. Man Homecoming opens in theaters July 7th. Number 2. When he visited the Children's Hospital Superheroes might be fictional characters, but children around the world look up to these figures and take inspiration from them. As Spider-Man, Tom has become an instantly recognizable face to many, and with that great power comes great responsibility. And I click this button, and the web flies out of here. Rising to the occasion, he's chosen to make a difference in the real world by brightening the lives of children. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Spider-Man. Nice to meet you. In 2017, Tom visited the Los Angeles Children's Hospital to stop in and spend some quality time with some of the young patients, in his Spidey costume no less. This wasn't an isolated incident either. He also visited Children's Healthcare of Atlanta and another children's hospital in New York. Now that's a real hero. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> I honestly felt like Tobey Maguire in the first movie, designing my suit. Okay. <laughs> Superhero. What? Hmm? What was that? What did you say? The Spider-Man suit is so unbelievably uncomfortable. The longest I ever spent in the suit was, I think, 11 hours, and it was, like, soul-crushing. It, I like, you can't <laughs> see anything, you can't feel anything. It's really tight. It's so hot and sweaty. I'm just sort of doing a little two-step to try and, like, warm myself up. And she's so <laughs> unimpressed. <laughs> she's so unimpressed that I just bailed and left. Ooh. I just can't do this. <laughs> but I want to thank two acting coaches because I think that this is a profession that is not praised enough because we actors don't like to admit that we need help sometimes. Number one, lip sync battle with Zendaya. Lip sync battle may have started off as a segment on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, but it has since evolved into a TV series in its own right. Since premiering in 2015, it's featured some truly epic battles. But we think that Tom and Zendaya is maybe among the greatest to date. Zendaya's performance of 24 Karat Magic by Bruno Mars would have won on any other night. 
But when Tom switched gears from Singing in the Rain like Gene Kelly to his bad girl performance of Umbrella, he scored an undeniable win. His performance goes way beyond parody. It's genuinely fierce and we totally love him for it. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.